Well, good afternoon. My name is David DiCarlo. I'm the Hernando County Emergency Management Director. Uh, my name is again David DiCarlo, D-E capital C A R L O. Uh, today here we're gathered uh, in regards to the preparation of Hernando County for Tropical Storm Helene. Uh, currently, the emergency protective measures that we have taken place so far is we have our uh, public information center lines that are open for any citizens that have any questions in regards to sandbags or shelter locations. That phone number is area code 352-754-4083. Again, the citizens information lines are open at 754-4083. Uh, as I mentioned, we're here for Tropical Storm Helene. Uh, we're currently under, the entire county is currently under a hurricane watch and a storm surge watch. Uh, the storm surge is supposed to enter, I'm sorry, the, sur the Tropical Storm Helene is supposed to be entering the Gulf of Mexico either later th this evening uh, or early morning. Uh, once it enters in the Gulf of Mexico, rapid intensification and moving north is expected. Um, we should be expecting storm surge anywhere between 6 and 10 feet. Because of those, uh, those predicted measures uh, that, that are, are expected, we've taken the following actions. We're having a mandatory evacuation order that it's going to be in effect beginning Wednesday, as tomorrow, Wednesday, September 25th at 8 a.m. Uh, we'll continue to monitor the storm. However, the mandatory evacuation has been issued for the areas west of US 19, which includes evacuation zones A, B, and C in Hernando County. A, B, and C in Hernando County. If you don't know where you live, please call our citizens information line and they'll help you find out what your evacuation zones are. It's also for all residents living in coastal and low-lying areas, as well as manufactured homes um, that are included countywide. Residents are advised to seek shelter with family or friends. And re please remember, even though the public shelters are open, they are a lifeboat, not a love boat. They should be your last resort. So if you can find refuge with a family or friend or other location, uh, please do so. But however, we will have public shelters open um, for your safety and well-being. With that being said, the shelter is going to be at West Hernando Middle School. Again, we'll have a public shelter open at West Hernando Middle School beginning tomorrow, Wednesday, September 25th at 8 a.m. That location is at 14325 Ken Austin Parkway in Brooksville. Four, 14325 Ken Austin Parkway in Brooksville. That'll house our special needs clients, general populations, and our pet friendly shelters. Again, if you need uh, sheltering assistance and have a pet, please call our citizens information line so we can arrange transportation for special needs and pets. If you do bring your pet to a shelter, please bring all the necessary ancillary equipment, food, crates, leash, and stuff to that nature for your pet. You'll be responsible for all that stuff to take care of your own pet, please. Um, also, we have sandbags or other emergency protective measures. We have sandbags that are available at Linda Pedersen Park, Anderson Snow Park, Ridge Manor Community Center, and Spring Lake Methodist Church. Those are open today from, they opened up at 8 a.m. this morning. They'll be open till 5 p.m. this afternoon, both today and tomorrow, from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, they'll be open Wednesday, uh, as long as the, uh, the weather permits, they'll stay open. Um, again, we'll be watching the storm and we'll be giving out periodic uh, updates throughout uh, uh, the duration of this storm. Uh, we want people to, to understand to take the storm seriously. Six to ten feet of storm surge is nothing to, uh, is nothing to, to, to squawk about. Please take this seriously. Uh, if you have any information or have any questions, please contact our citizen information line. Again, 352-754. 4083. I'll open up for any questions. Yeah, I was just going to, as we discussed before uh, you started the, the news conference here, um, what kind of concerns do you have given how much rain we've had over the last month when you compare it to like last year to Adalia, what we saw then, how much flooding we had even then? Right, we, we're, we're above average on rainfall up to this point from last year, so obviously it's a concern. The, water, the ground is saturated, so any extra rain. Uh, along with storm surge, plus the amount of rain that we're expected to get, uh, is very concerning. So we want to make sure the citizens take this seriously. And, and on that note, you know, I think we, we talk about this every year, how um, there comes a time when if people decide to stay, there's 
you're not going to be able to get to them. Right? There's going to be a point of no return, right. Um, when, when the tropical storm force winds uh, arrive in the county, uh, emergency services will stop. Um, so if you haven't evacuated, uh, there will be a point in time where we have, probably have massive power outages. Um, we won't be able to respond to you in the middle of the night. Um, landfall is expected anywhere between 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. on, on Thursday. Um, so if you, if you need rescue, you're going to have to sit and wait overnight. So please heed our warnings, take the evacuation seriously, find a safe place of refuge. Okay, no other questions, we appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned uh, to our Facebook page uh, and we'll be pushing out information um, as we get it from the National Weather Service and through the National Hurricane Center. Thank you very much. Thank you. Good? Yeah, that was great.